we at Well Woman Life really look at awareness and setting boundaries and owning our power and saying no. We take that very seriously because I think that um, many women uh, don't set boundaries and don't say no because we're socialized to be nurturers and to want to take care of everything. And so we kind of internalize that and then we become resentful and actually we burn out. Welcome to the Well Woman Show, where motivated women achieve fulfillment and well-being. You're listening to the Well Woman Show. You're listening to the Well Woman Show. Just, you're going to be in for a good ride. I'm a woman. I would prefer to to tell my own story. My story, though it's very personal, is universal. You're listening to the Well Woman Show. And now your host, Giovanna Rossi. Hi, Giovanna Rossi here, and welcome to another episode of the Well Woman Show, where I interview women leaders, executives, and entrepreneurs about their lives and their road to becoming and being who they are today. Are you at the top of your game professionally, but feeling burned out or finding it hard to focus on your goals or unfulfilled personally? Or are you in transition, simply juggling so many things you find it hard to take care of your own needs? Well, you're not alone. We all need to activate the four universal superpowers. These are the internal strengths and abilities we all already have, but don't use all the time. Superpowers can be cultivated and they include awareness, intuition, action, and acceptance. Toward the end of the show, in a segment called Superpowers for Success, I ask my guest about her superpowers and the answers will give you the strength, perspective, and power to live a well woman life. I'm so happy you're here. So thanks for tuning in. Hello, hello, well women. Happy spring. Um, If you're listening to this when this podcast publishes, it's April and... Um, it's almost, it's really right at the end of April and, uh, it's almost my birthday month. So I'm looking forward to that. Shout out to all you Taurus women out there. I love ya. And, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about my birthday plans, which are pretty low key this year. Um, getting ready for a big birthday next year. So I'm kind of playing it cool. I'm going to have a little R and R um, at the spa and dinner with the family. So welcome to all of the listeners. Welcome. If you're new, definitely head over to iTunes. No matter if you're listening to this on NPR or on iTunes or some other, I would love your review on iTunes. So, um, head over there. It really helps other women find this podcast. Um, women who really need to, to hear this podcast right now, uh, makes it easier for them to find. So, and I appreciate all of your reviews and love today. One of my favorite topics, we are going to talk about how to set boundaries (laughs) and finally say no with ease and confidence. So this is one of my favorite topics because it's kind of at, it's, it's sort of fundamental to everything we talk about on the Well Woman Show. And so if you're familiar with the Well Woman Transformation Framework, also known as the Work Life Integration Framework, you'll know that we look at the intersection of our internal supports um, and our, and the external supports. So our internal supports or superpowers are things that we strengthen over time through practice. And they include things like awareness, intuition, aligned action and acceptance or flow. So those are some of the internal supports and then external supports or circumstances are things like, you know, things you don't have direct control over in your family life, your work life, community, global policy. So all of those external circumstances that you don't have direct control over. And so what we do is we look at the intersection of those two things and depending on where those two intersect, we can identify where you are in the transformation framework and give you some specific tools to work through that. If you're wondering what is she going on about, you can go over to wellwomanlife.com slash quiz to take the little quiz yourself and find out where you are. And then you can follow along, um, you know, with that information, or you can follow along anyway, with or without that. So, um, definitely, um, 
interesting though, to know where you are as you're listening to this. We at Well Woman Life really look at awareness and setting boundaries and owning our power and saying no. We take that very seriously because I think that um, many women uh, don't set boundaries and don't say no because we're socialized to be nurturers and to want to take care of everything. And so we kind of internalize that and then we become resentful and actually we burn out. So we talk a lot about burnout on this show and in this community. It was really interesting. I actually did an interview that hasn't aired yet. You'll hear it in a few weeks. Um, And it was with a spiritual teacher who talked about burnout as not taking responsibility for your creation or avoidance. And I thought that was a really interesting way to frame it in that we're constantly creating. Um, And we are creating the circumstances in which we feel burned out. And, And so thinking of it that way, we can take responsibility for that and set some limits, right? So that we we don't have to say yes to all these things. And we don't have to say yes to being pressured into being the perfect mother, perfect, quote unquote, the perfect wife, the perfect business owner, the perfect student, whatever it is, you know, whatever all those hats are that we wear. Um what we can do is we can feel centered in our own power and in our own knowing of what we're here to do and create spaciousness in our self and in our surroundings to create what we want to create and have the relationships we want to have without going into burnout. And so one of the things that we talk a lot about is how to set those boundaries and say no with ease. So it's not like ah, super stressful. How do I say no? Um, it's, it's more sort of with ease and peace. And we do this so that we can protect our time and energy and, and, have things be more effortless instead of pushing, 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 working, working. Uh, and I, I, (laughs) I give this example a lot, you know, of kind of hunting, pushing, forcing rather, rather than that, we want to be in flow, which is one of the stages in the well woman transformation framework. We want to be in flow where, things are spacious and feel, you feel at ease, you feel at peace, you're not anxious. Um, and so, you know, it takes a lot of practice to get there and <clears throat> setting boundaries and saying no is just one of the tools that we have in our toolbox. And I'm going to share a bit about that today. So, um, I would like to start with uh, the idea that, um, that actually I talked to the spiritual teacher about on, on my, in an interview that's going to air soon, uh, it will actually air the week of mother's day. So it's with Berdanya Swami Tierra. She's from Latin America, but she lives in Canada and that will air May 10th. I want to say, uh, Anyway, it's that week right before Mother's Day. And she talks about really supporting the discovery and embracing the feminine in all. So embracing the feminine in women, men, and children. The feminine being that um, part of ourselves that's not super tangible and hard and fixed and, and uh, you know, not, not the masculine. Um, it's more of the softer intuitive side. And actually she says it way more eloquently than me. And so definitely tune into that show. 
um, in a few weeks and, and we go way into depth, um, about that. But one of the things she was talking about that really ties in with this week's topic was the idea that burnout is a result of guilt and guilt is a result of not feeling worth it and not feeling worth it is the result of not feeling loved or not loving yourself. And I loved the way that she described this because many, many of us, for all of the things that we're dealing with really kind of boil down to that. Um, when we, when we dig deeper and, and peel back each layer, it often comes down to um, our self-worth and our self-love And if we can restore or uncover or find our dignity, then we can reset and really claim our power and our, and our individual leadership. And so Bardania, uh, the spiritual teacher that I interviewed, we really talk a lot about this on the show and that's coming up for mother's day in a few weeks. So definitely check that out. Whether you're just starting your journey or you've been on it for months or even years, the Well Woman Jumpstart is a great place to begin. So you might want to know what's the outcome? How will I benefit from this? If you want to reach the income, impact, or intimacy goals you have, you can jump right in with this awesome jumpstart. You'll learn what your unique superpower is, which is super important for everything else you'll be working on in your life. You'll learn uh, proven tools to address your particular challenge. You'll get real clarity about your life and your big goals and challenges. And you'll get to talk to me, Giovanna, one-on-one, and I'll give you feedback and insight specifically on your goal or challenge. If you're ready to jump in, go to wellwomanlife.com slash jumpstart. I'm so thankful for support from Natural Awakenings Magazine in New Mexico, a monthly green healthy lifestyle publication. And for support from High Desert Yoga, promoting optimum physical health, clarity of mind and spiritual inspiration for all. So for today, just to give you a little introduction to, um, to setting boundaries and saying no with ease, I am going to share a couple more things about it. One is knowing when to set a boundary. So if you're super in tune with yourself, um, then you'll, you'll just know when you need to set a boundary. And and probably if you're that in tune, you know, and aligned with your inner knowing you, you are less likely to be in burnout in the first place. And so, um, if you're listening to this and you are in burnout or you're really needing to set some boundaries, I think that it's a, a great place to start is with the awareness, um, stage, of the transformation framework. And again, if you haven't seen the transformation framework, go over to wellwomanlife.com slash quiz so that you can access it there. Um, and in the awareness stage, we, uh, there are some tools for you to really, um, practice, Becoming aware, which is the precursor to being able to hear and follow your intuition. And so, um, in awareness, you want to be, uh, listening deeply to yourself. And, um, there are, you know, various ways that we can do that. Um, one is to, really start documenting, uh, things in your life that, that will create that awareness. And so we do that through journaling. And so if you have a journaling practice, that's awesome. If you used to, and you don't really anymore, I would say, pick that back up. And if you haven't ever really journaled, you know, a great way to start is to, uh, start doing the morning pages or something like that, which Julia Cameron talks about on a previous episode of this show, she wrote the artist's way. 
and um, morning pages is li literally just uh, first thing in the morning when you wake up writing three pages of whatever is on your mind, on your heart. And you do that before talking to anyone, before having your coffee, before grabbing your phone. Uh, and that will allow you to really kind of get out on paper some of those thoughts and feelings that will help create that awareness. Um, and so that's, that's one thing uh, that you can do. And then um, after we create some, there are lots of other things that you can do as well, but that that's just kind of one, one main thing that comes to mind, um, for today's show. And, um, after, uh, after you practice creating awareness, that will really set you up for being in tune with your inner knowing or your inner wisdom. Um, and so you'll want to, uh, engage in a meditative activity, either actual meditation or some kind of activity that brings you the same kind of result that, um, is usually things like cooking or exercising and it's different for different people. So choose what works for you, but try something and try it for a few minutes every day. Um, it could be walking, and again, this is alone and without any devices so that you really just get to go inward. Um, and so it could be exercising, cleaning, cooking, um, walking, you know, any of those activities. Someone even said to me the other day that they play pool, they shoot pool, you know, by themselves. Um, just it's a very kind of meditative. For me, it was ballet. I, I recognized later in my life that when I was doing bar exercises in ballet class, that was my meditative activity. And I loved it. It was very repetitive, but creative and physical. And I could really get into that state of, of meditation. Um, when I was, when I was dancing or actually not even really dancing, but just doing the bar exercises. Um, so find an activity that really resonates with you that you love doing and, and, and try that. So that helps you connect to yourself and that will help uh, bring about that awareness. So we are talking about knowing when to set boundaries and creating some awareness and intuition are, are that's part of knowing when, right? So when do you set the boundary? When do you say no? Um, and I'll give you a couple of other things. Um, no, when you, when you say no, really treat no, like a complete sentence. Like you, you really don't need a whole long explanation after you say no to something. So we've all been in the situation where someone asks us to do something, particularly if it's like yet another volunteer, you know, activity that's just going to completely overload us. Um, and so I love giving this example, you know, you're at a meeting or on a committee or on a board and someone asks you to step up and, uh, take over, you know, some aspect or, or attend an event or whatever it is. And you're thinking in your head, oh no, 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 I, I really can't do that. Like that is just too much for me right now. Yet the words that come out of your mouth are yes, I would love to. How, you know, when, when can I do that for you? And then it's too late to kind of like backtrack and pull those words back into your mouth. Um, and so if that happens to you, or if that resonates with you, then yeah, you need to, uh, you know, definitely, um, set those boundaries and decide where your limits are and what, what you want to say yes to what you want to say no to. Um, and I truly believe when we say no in one area of our life, we can say yes to something else that we really want in our lives. So knowing what and when to say no, what to say no to and when, um, it, it really comes down to as well, uh, whether the thing aligns with your 
uh, with the outcome that you want for your life or for, you know, in that area of your life. So if you can quickly uh, sort of analyze that in your mind it, during the conversation, when someone's asking you to do something, then it, it becomes easier and easier for you to decipher what you should say yes to and what you should say no to. If it's a longer, you know, analysis that you need with pros and cons and all of that, then you can give the person a placeholder. You can say, thank you for thinking of me. What's your deadline? I will get back to you. And that's a great way to buy yourself some time so that you can really think it through and see if it aligns with your, with the outcomes you want and desire for your life. So, um, that's the, uh, the idea behind knowing when and knowing and knowing what, and then also, um, you know, no is a complete sentence. We talked about that, not, not over explaining. Although I will say I didn't go into it too much. Um, we tend to over explain, like we, we owe people an explanation. Like we can't possibly just say no to something. We have to kind of justify it. And I would like to encourage you not to think of it that way, to kind of reframe it and say, your, your saying no is perfectly acceptable the way it is just no. Um, and you know, again, that's something we've been socialized to think that we need to do. And, uh, we just don't need to, we don't need to over explain. Uh, I don't need to tell you that I can't make it, um, to a meeting that you've requested on Wednesday because I need to pick my kids up from school early because the person that usually picks them up had to cancel that week and I have to do it this week and yada, yada, on and on. Um, all I need to say is I can't do that date due to a conflict. Um, how about, and you know, offer two other options, uh, period. That is the end of that. We don't need to tell them the whole story about, you know, all of this justification about why we can't do it. Um, that's a really important one. And that really helps you own your power and, and feel more confident. Um, okay. And then lastly, no apologies. So this is a big one. We often say, Oh, I'm sorry. I can't make it Wednesday. Um, you know, because blah, 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 again, over explaining, but we start out with, I'm sorry. And when we do that, we really give away our power and our leadership and we really don't need to be apologizing about these things, right? We're, we just need to say it. Um, so no is a complete sentence and no apologies. Uh, that's what I've got for you on how to set boundaries. I'd love to hear from you about how you set your boundaries and how you, and what your experience is with some of these tools. Head over to wellwomanlife.com slash Facebook and join the conversation over there. I would love to hear from you and, um, yeah, look out for the upcoming interview with Bardanya Swami Tiara, and I will see you on the next episode. That's it for our show today. Remember, if you need support to live your well woman life, head over to wellwomanlife.com slash Facebook to join us. Our monthly live event, Well Woman Drinks, brings women together to share our successes and challenges as women, leaders, moms, aunts, sisters, and all the other roles we carry. If you'd like to attend a Well Woman Drinks near you, or if there isn't one in your city yet and you'd like to start one, email info at wellwomanlife.com. If you enjoyed the show, please take a moment and subscribe in iTunes and leave a review. This helps raise visibility, which is super helpful when it comes to producing the show every week. For feedback, comments, or just to let me know you are listening today, find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Well Woman Life. I'm Giovanna Rossi for The Well Woman Show. Until next time, have a super powerful week. <laughs>